Ghost Rider is a complicated character, especially when it comes to his powers. There have been several different incarnations of the Spirit of Vengeance, and each of them carries their own distinctive power set. One common trait among all Ghost Riders is the inherent ability to shed their earthly flesh and maintain a flaming skull without, you know, dying. They're also virtually impervious to harm, possess superhuman strength, and force the transportation methods of their choice to travel faster than normal. In the case of Johnny Blaze, he could cause his personal motorcycle to transform along with him. When he was Ghost Rider, he could shoot Hellfire itself, a kind of metaphysical fire that leaves no physical scorches, but burns the victim's soul, leaving them mentally and spiritually damaged. Apparently, Johnny Blaze's Ghost Rider can also blast chains and fire from his mouth or chest. One trait Johnny Blaze inherited from Daniel Ketch after he took over from Ghost Rider is the Penance Stare, a variant on their Hellfire powers in which they stare into the victim's eyes and force them to experience the pain and suffering that they had inflicted on others. Also, sometimes he kills them. Danny Ketch's Ghost Rider has his own ability to have his clothes change into his Ghost Rider outfit of leather pants, boots, and spiky jacket whenever he actually transforms in Ghost Rider. Ketch commanded a mystical chain that changed its length and size at will as well as heeding his commands. Originally, the Ketch Ghost Rider could only be summoned when innocent blood was spilt, but eventually that became inconvenient and he just changed whenever he felt like it. Michael Balladino was once a New York City cop who became a Ghost Rider variant character known as Vengeance. His powers were similar to the other riders, though his look and skull flame colors were noticeably different. His powers and abilities were actually rather similar to the Noble Kale version of Ghost Rider, who could wield Hellfire and Penance Dare and maintain superhuman strength thanks to the Medallion of Power. Now, there was also Alejandra Jones, who thanks to a ritual took on powers very similar to Ghost Rider. She maintained the transformation ability, super strength, durability, healing factor, Hellfire, and Penance Dare. So essentially, she was just a female version of Ghost Rider. And technically one of the only literal Ghost Rider, instead known as the Phantom Rider, Carter Slade had the ability to become intangible, fire energy from spiritual guns he wielded, and generally possessed ghost-related powers. And in the cyberpunky alternate future of 2099, there was a Ghost Rider who was actually a cybernetic approximation of abilities similar to Ghost Rider of our time, but nobody really remembers him or cares about this character. And finally, we come to Robbie Reyes, the newest Ghost Rider. Technically, he's possessed by a human spirit known as Eli Morrow, and completely unconnected to the spirit of vengeance, like most Ghost Riders. Robbie possesses similar but not identical abilities as Ghost Rider, which includes the Flaming Skull, the Durability, Healing Factor, Super Strength, etc. Unlike most Ghost Riders, he drives a car which he has remote access to, which also has a bottomless trunk, allowing Robbie to carry virtually anything in his ride. His Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. counterpart seems to be an amalgam of several versions of Ghost Rider, most especially the Danny Ketch and Johnny Blaze versions. Time will tell whether the spirit possessing him is that of a hellborn demon or a tormented human soul. Now out of this list, what's your favorite Ghost Rider? Let us know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching this episode of Powers, and we'll see you here at Comic Pop for even more great comic-related shows.